This PABC tutorial is the second on choosing where to search. The first part introduced you to what databases are. This part provides overviews of six databases that are relevant to physiotherapists. Suppose you have a physical therapy question and want an answer from the literature. The first step is formulating a clear, concise question addressing the relevant clinical elements. In other words, putting the question into PICO format. The second step is deciding where to search. This means choosing which databases to use. There are many databases that pertain to physiotherapy. Some are free, others have to be accessed via the Electronic Health Library of BC or EHLBC. This can be done through the PABC eLibrary or through other BC healthcare facility portals. As there are many databases, there is a learning continuum. Most of you are already comfortable with searching Google. Some of you will only want to learn one or two databases, but others will want to learn the full suite. Pedro is a physiotherapy evidence database that is freely accessible. A strong advantage is that it contains only physiotherapy specific articles. Ratings of the quality of the articles are also provided. A disadvantage is that it is a very small database that duplicates other databases like Medline or Sinel. It has an unsophisticated search interface that does not allow you to apply limits such as type of publication or age of patient, and usually only article abstracts are available. Pedro is good for quick searches and to see ratings of research quality. Rehab Plus is a searchable database of the best evidence from the healthcare literature on rehabilitation. The main advantages are that it is freely accessible, although free registration is required, and the articles are quality reviewed and comments are provided on their relevance and newsworthiness. A disadvantage is that it has an unsophisticated search interface that does not allow you to apply limits such as publication year. Rehab Plus should be used for quick searches and quality ratings and to set up alerts. PubMed is the largest biomedical database in the world and it includes Medline. Its main advantages are that it is freely accessible online and can be found through Google or by typing the listed URL. It has excellent built-in filters that allow you to narrow your search by eliminating unwanted results, and it includes links to some free text via publishers' websites. A disadvantage is that it covers relatively few physiotherapy-specific journals. PubMed is an important database for physiotherapy journals, but it does not include all of them. In a thorough search, you should be sure to use CINEL along with PubMed to access more physiotherapy journals. The Cochrane Library provides systematic reviews as well as other high-quality summaries of healthcare evidence. Titles and abstracts can be browsed at the listed URL, but no full text can be accessed there. For full text, access via PABC's EBM Reviews database. The main advantage is that it provides high-quality studies and summaries of the evidence. CINEL is the acronym for the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health Literature Database. It is not open access, but you can access it through the PABC website. CINEL has the advantage of hosting many allied health journals, including many on physiotherapy. You can also search CINEL and Medline simultaneously. A disadvantage is that there is some duplication with PubMed records. The Evidence-Based Medicine Reviews database is also known as EBM Reviews or EBMR. It can be accessed through the PABC eLibrary via EHLBC. An advantage is that it searches several high-quality databases simultaneously, including the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. A disadvantage is that there is some duplication with PubMed, Medline, and CINEL. EBM Reviews is good for quick searches of high-quality evidence. 
As you've seen, there are a lot of databases relevant to physiotherapy, and these summaries have only covered a few of the most relevant. So which of these databases should you use? This depends on both the search topic and the purpose of the search. If you're looking for a systematic review article, a clinical practice guideline, or other evidence-based material, the Cochrane Library or EBM reviews might be enough. For a quick search for a recent review article on a physiotherapy topic, Sinel, Pedro, or PubMed Medline alone might be sufficient. For a more thorough review of a topic, more than one database should be used. A search for the purpose of writing a systematic review requires an exhaustive search of all the relevant databases. Thanks for watching, and please check out the other tutorials available through the PABC website.